Hey, hey, hey. Merry Christmas to everyone out there. This is Minister Vanessa Brooks coming to you on behalf of Trinity Destined Ministry. Um, I just wanted to send a quick shout out today on this evening, uh, Christmas Day Eve, I guess you could say, um, after we've all um, gotten together with family, we've traveled, some of us have traveled ways and distances, we've um, exchanged gifts and we've eaten till we're full and uh, now we're at the, at the end of our of our day um, our early evening of Christmas and I just wanted to take a, a quick quick time short short time to to speak to you all on tonight um, as I, I my, myself I'm going out to dinner just very shortly but I wanted just to stop and just uh, give you this quick quick word the reason uh, for this season. Let's let us not forget the reason for this day, the reason for Christmas, the reason why we come together on a day like today, this gorgeous day that God made for us uh, to celebrate um, uh, the the good news. We talk about and you've heard the good news. What is the good news? I think it's important for us to understand um, not only the reason for this season, the reason, uh, we have to understand the good news in order to understand the reason for this season. So I just wanted to um, to quote just a, a couple of scriptures or so just to, to let you um, understand and hope that you uh, will receive um, and understand better uh, the reason for the season and the good news about the reason for this season. Um, very quickly, the Bible tells us in um, Matthew chapter one, verse 20, it tells us that for the child, we're talking about Mary, and we know the story about Mary and, and Joseph, um, the birth of Jesus, we're celebrating the birth of Jesus. And it says, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and she will have a son and her and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. The good news, the reason for the season. This is the good news. And then even if we go over to uh, Luke, Luke talks to us uh, in chapter two, verse eight. He says, that night there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guard guarding the flocks of sheep. Suddenly the angel of the Lord appeared among them and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them, don't be afraid. He said, I bring you good news, good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, he says, yes, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David and you will recognize him by this sign. You will find him, a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth lying in a manger. Uh, the good news, it says. And then we go over to John 3, 16, my last scripture reference. And we know this well, John 3, 16, for God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son so that everyone, it says, who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world. It says not to judge the world, listen here, but to save the world through him. So the reason for this season is the birth of Jesus Christ and his the good news. So we know the good news is the reason for the season, the good news is that God chose to send his son, Jesus Christ, to live among us. God, in fact, sent himself in his son, Jesus Christ, to dwell with us. We, The Bible says that we, he's, he's also Emmanuel, God with us. Ha, he's with us. This is the reason for the season. This is the good news for the reason for the season. So we have this great opportunity and today is a day we celebrate this great opportunity that we have to receive the gift. Jesus is the gift from God that we have today, that he gives us, reminds us of today. Here is my gift, God says. 
my son, Jesus Christ, the greatest gift, the greatest gift. I don't care what you got today. I don't care what you were given today. Jesus is the greatest gift of all. He is the greatest gift of God. So if you, you don't know him, you need to know him. You need to get to know him. And I say that because um, he saves us from our sins. He gives us a chance to have eternal life with the father. Um, he gives us that joy that nobody can take away. He gives us that peace that surpasses all understanding. He, he is our strength when we are weak. Um, it is that special healing touch that he has that restores us and heals us and builds us up and delivers us from strongholds and worries and concerns. He says that we can give all of our concerns to him. This is the kind of relationship that he wants with us. This is the gift. He's giving us the gift. He's offering us the gift, the gift of Jesus Christ. This is the reason for the season, the good news about the reason for the season. So I just wanted to share that with you today. And if you don't know, you don't know Jesus for yourself. You don't and have not established a personal relationship with Jesus for yourself, not for your mama, not for your daddy, not for your sister, your brother, your auntie, nana, your grandma, grandpa, pookie, whoever, not for them, but for you, your own personal relationship with Christ. This is my gift to you. I offer you Jesus Christ. Boy, what a great, great, great way to end the year, a great way to begin a new year, a new season, opening up yourself to new blessings, unexpected blessings and miracles that God has in store for you. I offer you Jesus Christ on today, this this Christmas Day Eve, um, all you have to do, the Bible tells us, is to confess and believe. If you confess Jesus and believe that he is the son of God, it says you shall be saved. You should have that relationship with him that I just talked about. Um, and all you have to do is just go within yourself, take some time serious time, real time, genuine time, sincere time before God and have this conversation, just have this, this short conversation with him. God, I believe that Jesus Christ is your son. I believe he lived. I believe he died. And I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back for me. I believe this and I repent of my sins. God, forgive me of my sins. Take me into your arms. Come into my heart. I give myself to you in Jesus name. The Bible says if you can do that, you can say that and you believe that. It says you're saved. It says you're saved. You're saved. And you just open yourself up to him. Let him in. Let him take control. And you'll be amazed at how your life begins to change. You'll be amazed at how your thinking will begin to, to change. You'll be amazed at how on the inside you'll feel a change every day, day by day. That growing, that regeneration will take place on the inside. The Holy Spirit will come and take residence on the inside and begin to make a change. Begin to make a change. Now is the perfect time. Now is the perfect day for you to make a change. So today, Christmas Day, let us not forget the reason for the season and the good news behind the reason for the season. And that is Jesus Christ. That is Jesus Christ. That's all I got for you tonight. I just wanted to share that with you very, very quickly. You all have a great evening. I hope you had a great Christmas celebration on today. Um, uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, uh, the end of the year is coming. We're going to have new years coming up soon. Get ready for what God has in store. I'm excited about what God has in store for next year. Expect it. Look for it. Receive all that he has for you. 
and just walk in it. Walk in whatever it is that God has put before you. Walk in the provisions he's already set before you. Walk in your purpose, your plan, his plan for your life. Walk in it. Receive it. Oh, gosh. Seek after him for it. Mm, let's do a new thing next year. Prepare yourself for unexpected blessings and unexpected joy and unexpected miracles. Look for it because he has the very best for all of us. The good news, the reason for this season. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Love you very much. And we'll talk soon. All right. Be blessed.